it's Joe Starbuck under a bit of pressure, but he does well, the Sheffield United player, and then buys himself half a yard and completes the clearance. Uh, Starport Swiss have taken an early lead in the bars, I can tell you. They lead Schiffnall Town by a goal to nil. Three mantles away now down the right hand side. Got a bit of space, feeds it through, early chance here, good shot, and well smothered by McMillan. It was Cissé who had the opportunity, McMillan, who was out very smartly off his line, the Southport goalkeeper. And to be fair to you, if he say he didn't have a lot of time there. Josh Hamami wants to take. He's seeing an awful lot of a Harriers player in front of him. It's a decent delivery from Mami towards the far post. Header comes in and Palmer catches it above his head. That's a little concerning as to how easily that header came in at the far post. There, Harriers switched off momentarily, but um, he uh, it was a good promising build-up. Long throw in from the left-hand side here for Southport. Flicked on the near post and turned to the net. And well, it's given. I did look at the assistant on the far side. Southport have taken the lead, long throw, flicked on at the near post and put into the Harriers net on 28 minutes and I'm afraid Harriers fan wanting Pierce trying to move forward, looking for options, feeds it down the channel towards Cissé, Cissé buys himself a yard, trying to go around his man, keeps it in just on the near side, needs support now, still going Cissé, 25 yards out, infield it goes, Finds low, low, interchange of passes, finds Cissé again onto the right foot, can he get a shot away, he drags it back on the sole of his big feet, infield, shot comes in, and uh, it's Cannon, Scott Burgess that got the shot in, it's Cannon's off a defender and away, this is better by Harriers, who looks, can't understand why that decision was keeping, given, other than the fact you completely fouled somebody, here's a chance now for Starbuck to run at uh, the defence, he does, he drills the ball in, good save by McMillan, behind for a corner, in fact it loops over the, uh, stand at the far end, nice little burst forward there and a good strong shot which is uh, well saved by McMillan, that's better by Harriers, that's a nice little header infield and Southport might be able to build from here, nice interchange of passes as well, Quanta delivery towards the far post, is it too strong, it's not too strong, it's oh in the end Palmer just pounces on it, there's a lovely crossfield ball picking out Niall Watson, it was tight for Watson to be fair, the angle was very tight, McMillan's clearance, headed back by Low. Southport, Southport hook it up into the Harriers half of the field, Caleb Richards retreating, gets ahead to it, chance here for the visitors to break, nice little ball down the channel here, delivered back inside the edge, just in behind Bainbridge, shot comes in, it's in the net for 2-0, and it's Marcus Carver who's got it, it was good work down the right hand side, and Harriers undone I'm afraid, by Hermani's run, ball delivered back in, Bainbridge had the first effort, it fell to Carver, and he's tucked it past Palmer into the back of the net, and it's looking like a long way back now for Harriers. Kidderminster Harriers nil, Southport two. Three at all in his appeals for free kicks at the moment. Forward it goes, Leek has retreated to head that one away for Harriers. Bainbridge picks up the pieces, skips round one challenge. Bainbridge advancing now, tries a long range effort which Palmer is behind all the way. He was fully 30 yards out when he hit that. If that had gone in it would have been a contender for goal of the season I would have thought. A good firm challenge is. Palmer clears long towards Morgan Smith, header into the Cissé, Cissé, oh his first touch let him down, it was a really good header into his path by Morgan Smith, Cissé was in, uh, Liam Watson's going nuts down here on that touch, I don't know what that was all about, there didn't seem to be anything wrong with the, the play from either side, now then Morgan Smith down the left hand side, put away by Rogers. Morgan Smith looking to get Rogers back into it now, steps around one challenge, tries to dummy a couple of defenders, delivers it in towards the near post, headed away, it's going to break as far as Nathan Lowe, 30 yards out, he plays it in short, Harris trying to build here, Burgess is all very tight, the shot comes in, and wide from Hemmings. Goals from Nile Watson in the first half, and Marcus Carver in the second, as uh, could be more trouble here for Harris now, as Carver's going into the area again, Hunt gets a shot in, it's three, oh he's put it wide, he put it wide, saw the net ripple, he missed and that was a guilt edge chance, Hemmings, infield it goes to low, low that's better, a bit more pace about that, Cissé's first touch, lets him down initially but Rogers will get on the end, no, Rogers leaves it, Burgess delivers it into the near post, it's deflected wide for a corner, it could have gone absolutely anywhere, goalkeeper McMillan was diving in the opposite direction, no blame attached to him, Hemmings is dropping deep, He's got low to his left hand side if he needs him, goes wide to the left hand side there to Rogers. Rogers taking on his fullback. Whips the ball in towards the uh, danger area, could drop anywhere. Shot! It's charged down. 
another chance again charged down good blocks coming in it was Caleb Richards who uh, had the last opportunity there two or three bites of the cherry for Harriers and it scrambled away and eventually will run away for a goal kick closer to 15 quite possibly and getting away with it down the right hand side it goes flicked in field looking towards Morgan Smith or Hemming as I should say or even Seesaw, I get it right in a minute, Seesaw now it's back to low. Low steers it in field now, can Harris build something from here? Burgess, has a bit of space for Rogers. who tries a long range effort. Oh, and it's fumbled by McMillan. It was worth a try by Rogers. he was fully 30 yards out when he hit that, and he hit it sweetly. And McMillan seemed to have everything in behind it, bounced off his chest, but he was able to pounce on it before any Harriers player could get close enough to do any damage. That's a uh, good attendance this afternoon, but unfortunately, they haven't really been right rawly entertained, the majority of them at least. That's a Lowe's free kick is headed down, half a chance, oh, into the midriff of McMillan. Header was one at the far post, I was looking to it. And once again, McMillan's clearance drifts towards his touchline, doesn't go out of play this time. Hemmings is ahead of Morgan Smith, jumping, trying to win it. It's going to break here for Bainbridge, but he's uh, closed down quickly. Hemmings will win it back. Chance here for Harriers now down the left-hand side, delivered into the danger zone. Could break here for Richards with a shot just past the post. It was always going wide, but Caleb Richards got his shot away. That needed to go in. Harriers, I'm afraid. I've got a bit of head scratching to do after this one. Three minutes added time. Hemming swings across in towards the far post. It's not. It's headed away off the line, just in front of the goalkeeper actually. And Lowe's follow-up shot is high, wide, and not very handsome. Good ball in from Hemmings. Killer instincts at either end of the pitch, in all honesty, and Southport have come and had a very good day, haven't they? Well, there goes the final whistle. It has been a very, very good day for Southport, and well-deserved. I'm taking nothing away from Southport. They were very good value for the win. They didn't create too many chances. The ones they did create, they took the overwhelming majority of them.